Hey everyone, this is Sam from Wargamer Online and I'm going to do another tutorial. Well, I say a tutorial, it's a good quick tip more than anything. And this is just how to make your own wet palette to use for painting. So we've all seen wet palettes that are sold by multiple companies around the world which allow you to keep your paint wet while you are painting so you can do your blending a little bit easier and also make the paint last a little bit longer. And this is just showing you what you can use instead that doesn't cost you anything or costs a minimal amount. So I'm using a plastic tub. This is recycled from one of the Games Workshop basing kits that I bought years ago. I'm just removing the label from the front of it and filling it with a little bit of water. The next thing I'm gonna do is just get a kitchen towel or some kitchen paper and I fold it up and just pop that into the tray alongside the, well, on top of the water. And let it soak up a little bit and once that's done, fold in the sides. And make sure it's completely flat or as close to being flat as you can get it. Then I just top up the tub with a little bit more water and once that's done I'm using grease proof baking paper and you can get this from most supermarkets. You can also use parchment paper and I've pre-cut these to a size that will fit in the tray on top of the kitchen paper, kitchen towel. So all I'm doing is just folding it out to try and get it as straight as possible and you, you can see it's quite thin and the, the water will basically soak up onto this paper while not pooling on top of it and ruining the paint completely. So I've made loads of these and it means that whenever I need a new sheet I can just grab one out of my drawer and I can just pop it straight into the tray. So I'm putting this on top of the kitchen towel and I'm just going to get some paint and I'm going to put these in the corners just to weigh it down a little bit because what happens when you initially put this paper, to, uh, this paper in there is it starts to curl up on itself. And that's it, that's the wet palette done. So I'm just going to put a little bit of paint in the uh, palette, a little bit of Lamian medium and just show you that you can thin it out and spread it across the palette and it, it's really really good, it lasts a long time. So it's a, it's a very easy tip, it's a quite cheap way to make a wet palette, I hope this helps, give us a like and a subscribe if you're not already subscribed and comment below if you've got any tips and tricks for making your own wet palettes. Uh, one thing is make sure it's got a lid so you can fasten it and it will last even longer but hopefully this will help and we'll see you on the next videos.